What is up everyone? Chris back with another guide and another video. Today I just realized recently that I have actually not done a video on how to flash TWRP recovery onto your next bit Robin. So Paranoid Android came out, did a video already on that, and so some of you may want to actually try it out or try some other ROMs or even root your Robin. So this is going to be necessary to install TWRP, but before you before we are able to do that, um, you will need to actually unlock the bootloader of your device. I've already done a video. I will leave the link on that in the description. Check that out before you can complete this process here. So we are going to need a couple things before we get started. And of course, you will already need your Robin USB drivers installed and ADB fast boot interface set up on your computer already. We need to first download the TWRP official recovery image from the website um, and then save that to the folder where you have your ADB fastboot set up here. I've already downloaded mine and I've named it TWRP Robin just so that way it's easier to type in during the command prompt process. Now onto your phone, we're going to go into settings, go down to about phone and we need to scroll down to the build number, tap that multiple times till it tells you that you are now a developer. Go back, and then we need to go and tap on developer options. Scroll down until you get to USB debugging, and go ahead and click and turn that on. So now we are all set. Next, go to your ADB fast boot uh, folder, shift and right click, and then open command prompt window here. As you can see here is the, um, the file extension for this folder. And we're going to go ahead and type in ADB devices. That way we can verify that the ADB connection starts and you're able to see your device. We can see here is mine. It is listed. If yours says unauthorized, all you have to do is on your phone, um, click on allow to allow the computer to have that interaction. Next, what we need to go ahead and do is on your in the command window, we're going to just type in ADB reboot bootloader. This is going to then reboot the phone into fast boot mode. As you can see, there it is. If you're curious about this Razer logo and how I've got that, stay tuned and subscribe. I'll create a video on how to do that for you. You can pretty much create your whatever you want for your, your boot screen there. So now we are in fastboot. ADB is no longer going to work. You are then going to have to interact with the um, with your Robin through the fastboot communication. So what we'll need to do is with the Robin for some reason it doesn't like to communicate using just standard syntax for fastboot. You need to actually type in the device ID for the computer to actually look and communicate for the Robin. I found that this is much more reliable. Um, you may have success in not doing it this way, but um, for me, it works every single time. So we have fastboot dash I for the ID or information of the phone. And then here, 0x2c3f, this is the ID of the Robin. So if we type that in just similar as we did above in ADB, press enter, F enter be helpful if I actually had uh, put devices after the end. Now, wouldn't it? Devices. And here we are. Here is our device in fast boot mode. It is recognized. So that's good. So now what we need to do is type that same command. And we need to type flash since we're flashing, flashing a file onto the phone and then recovery, which is the partition on the phone that we're flashing. And then next is the file name. So since I have mine labeled or named TWRP robin.image, that is the file name I'm flashing. So again, the syntax for this command is fastboot, since that's where we're interacting with, dash I 0x2c3f, which is the device ID for the Robin. We are flashing, that's the command we're actually doing. Recovery is the partition we're going to be flashing to, and then the file name that we're going to be flashing to that partition. We'll go ahead and just press enter. 
it'll say waiting, sending the recovery, and it has now flashed and finished installing, flashing the TWRP onto your Robin. It is finished. So next what we can do is go ahead onto your phone, go down to recovery to reboot into TWRP, press a power button, there is that custom splash screen that I've created. And this will now boot into TWRP. You are then able to wipe your phone, backup the stock ROM, flash a ROM, root your device, all within the recovery here. So you are now all set. Um, again, I'll leave all the links on what you need in the description. Thank you all for watching. If you guys have any questions on this process or any comments, feel free to leave them down below. Like the video if you thought it was helpful, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.